Hey everyone and welcome to the May Cave. My name is Megan and today I'm going to tell you my reading sets for 2017 and I have my trusty notebook here to help me. So most of this information I have from Goodreads and then I think there's one or two things in here that I personally put in that I wanted to talk about. So a number of books that I read, it was 63 books last year. One of those books I actually read twice so you could say 62 books if you want but either way it's still pretty good for me because in 2016 I think I read about 50 books so I'm still 10 books over what I read the previous year. For pages, it says I read 19,574 pages last year. And that one is variable as well because I didn't ever track my reading progress on Goodreads and I may have not always paid attention to the exact edition that I was reading and some editions have a different amount of pages. So that number is probably variable as well. So it's probably closer to 19,500 or 19,400, over 19,000 pages. <laughs> Out of those 63 books, I had five books that I won as giveaways, either ARCs or otherwise, eight books that were nonfiction books, and then three books that I DNF'd. The ones that I DNF'd are Anil's Ghost by Michael Undante, I think, Norse Mythology by Neil Gaiman, and um, Reading Lolita and Tehran by someone I don't remember. But those three books, Anil's Ghost, I barely got 50 pages in before I got that. I just, I couldn't pick that one up anymore. The writing was just awful, and I just did not like that one. Norse Mythology, it just, I didn't like the way that one was written either. It wasn't as janky as, not janky, <laughs> it wasn't as bad as Anil's Ghost, but I just, I didn't like the way the stories were written. I didn't really like anything about the stories, honestly. And I know it's based off of real mythology, but it was Neil Gaiman's interpretation of it, as far as I'm aware, and I didn't like his interpretation, so. And then Reading Lolita and Tehran had a few issues for me, and if you're interested in that, I'll link my nonfiction November wrap-up, because that's what I read, or tried to read for, so. I'll link that video down below if you're interested in that one. Next I have my star ratings. So I actually had 9 books that were 5 starred last year, 37 books that I 4 starred, 14 books that I 3 starred, and 2 books that I 2 starred. I don't have any 1 star books because for me if it's a 1 star book I typically don't finish it so I don't read it. So that's that. And then Goodreads also tells you your most popular book. So out of all the books I read, the most popular one was Ocean at the End of the Lane by Neil Gaiman at 603,668 people that have read it. And then my least popular one was A House Full of Love by Marjorie Housepian at 14 people <laughs> who had read that one. It also tells me the highest rated out of all the books that I read. And that one was Before They Pass Away by Jimmy Nelson. Goodreads also tells you the first and last reviews of the year. So my first review was of Desert of Souls by Howard Andrew Jones. And my last review was of A Sister to Honor by Lucy Ferris. A Sister to Honor I actually have a video review for. So if you want to, uh, I can link it down below and you guys can check that out if you want. Sorry, my throat's a little dry today. I don't know what's up. I think I'm just a little dehydrated lately. I need to drink some more water. So these last two items I have to tell you are ones that I wanted to talk to you about. So my favorite covers of the books that I read last year, I have three to talk about. First one is Skull Sworn by Brian Stavely. I absolutely love this cover. I love the artist, the artist who does this cover. He does the whole series for Brian Stavely and he's done a couple other books and he's just, I love his artwork. It's so amazing. The next one is The 20th Wife by Indusim Darson. I read this one at the end of the year and I just love this cover. It's just beautiful and it's muted in its colors and it has a very nice tone to it. This one and the second one, Feast of Roses, those two have really beautiful covers. The third one in that trilogy, I don't like that cover. I think it's kind of cheesy looking, to be honest. But I'm going to do a review of that trilogy probably after this video comes out. So look out for that. And then the last book for favorite cover is, again, Desert of Souls by Howard Andrew Jones. I just absolutely love this cover. Honestly, I bought this book because of the cover, and now I love the book. So... I think it's just the most beautiful cover, one of the great best ones that I've seen, in my opinion. And then lastly, I want to tell you about the published dates of the books that I've read. I didn't go through and get the published date for every single book because most of them were published 2000 and after, only a few were published before that. But I actually only had four books that were published in 2017 that I read. Three of them were actually giveaway books that I won. Yeah, three of them, and then Skull Sworn was the one that wasn't a giveaway that I purposefully bought because I'd already read the trilogy and I just... I had to have Skull Sworn hardcover. So only four books that were published last year. And actually, I have one book that was published this year that I got an ARC for, or an advanced reader's copy. And I was a little confused at first when I first got that book, because the expected release date was in February of 2018. But when I looked on Amazon, Amazon already had it. But then I just looked now, and I realized that the UK had, it, had its edition out first, and then the US got it actually this month in January on the 2nd was its 
actual US release date. So technically it's 2018, two days into it. But technically I read a book that wasn't released until 2018. So I'm going to count that. So I guess that's it for all my reading stats. For some reason, I thought this video would take a lot longer, but I didn't read that much. I mean, I, for me personally, 63 books is a good amount for me. I did read a decent amount of short novels. I had a, if quite a few under 200 page books last year. So as much as for this coming year, I want to read as much books or as many, if not more. I plan to read some of my larger books this year, like my 800 plus page books. So that may hinder my ability to read more, but technically larger books kind of count as more, don't they? Because they're just bigger books. So if I read, you know, four of the 200 page books, it would be one of the 800 page books. So we'll see how that goes. But I guess, so that's the end of my reading stats video. Thank you guys very much for joining me with this short little video about all, everything that I did last year with my reading. Um, if you're interested more in my reading stuff, I have some reading goals videos that I already posted. I have two of them actually because after I finished the first one I had some more goals that I wanted to do so I have a total of nine goals for 2018 so I think I can get them all we'll try we'll, we'll see how I get there but I'll link those down below if you're interested thank you guys again for coming to see my video and I hope to see you guys next time bye